<laughs> Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. We are pre-recording because we are going to be on vacation uh, for a couple of weeks and will not be able to to do our live streaming. So I hope that you um, are able to just spend some time with us and and be encouraged to spend time in prayer. I am Pastor Jenny, and I'm glad that you've joined us on The Bending Road. And I'm Pastor Dave, and it's always good to, to journey together. Because no matter where you go in life, two things are for certain. One, you will eventually come to a bend in your road. And two, God will always see you through. We're reading this morning from Genesis 18, verses 1 through 15. From the Common English Bible. The Lord appeared to Abraham at the Oaks of Mamre while he sat at the entrance of his tent in the day's heat. He looked up and suddenly saw three men standing near him. As soon as he saw them, he ran from his tent entrance to greet them and bowed deeply. He said, Sirs, if you would be so kind, don't just pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought so you may wash your feet and refresh yourselves under the tree. Let me offer you a little bread so you will feel stronger, and after that you may leave your servant and go on your way, since you have visited your servant. They responded, Fine, do just as you have said. So Abraham, Abraham hurried to Sarah at, at his tent and said, Hurry, need three sayas of the finest flour, and make some baked goods. Abraham ran to the cattle, took a healthy young calf, and gave it to a young servant who prepared it quickly. Then Abraham took butter, milk, and the calf that had been prepared, put the food in front of them, and stood under the tree near them as they ate. They said to him, Where's your wife Sarah? And he said, Right here in the tent. Then one of the men said, I will definitely return to you about this time next year. Then your wife, Sarah, will have a son. Sarah was listening at the tent door behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were both very old. Sarah was no longer menstruating. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, I'm no longer able to have children, and my husband's old. The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, me give birth in my age? Is anything too difficult for the Lord? When I return to you about this time next year, Sarah will have a son. Sarah lied and said, I didn't laugh because she was frightened. But he said, no, you laughed. And that ends the reading. You know what I think the greatest part of the scripture is? Mm. When, when Abraham runs in and says, Hurry, do some baked goods, make some baked goods, make some bread, get me a, get me a calf, cook that up quickly. Yeah. And I'm not sure anything happened quickly as, in those days. As they are, as the, uh, the men are under the tree washing their feet and refreshing themselves. Yeah. As, <laughs> Hurry, uh, get that done. And he, and then next, and then, he, and then he turned right around and brought the prepared calf to the them. And, uh, yeah. And so just, Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice if that happened in our lives? That, that, yeah, yeah. That, that is the problem with, with the reading of Scripture the way we do as a, as in, we don't read it in time, right? right? We, we just read the, the story and, and it doesn't say after several hours. <laughs> when, so it's, it's, like, it's like going to, to Tops and getting a rotisserie chicken and going to the bakery go. there and, and, it's all and done. pulling out. Yeah. Loaf of bread. A loaf of bread yeah. and bringing it home. It's all set. Here it yeah. is. <laughs> anyway, that, that's, that's probably not the most critical part of the story. No, but no. <laughs> no, I, you know what, what struck me in this reading is, is the need for hope. You know, yeah. Sarah had no hope. And that's no, why she laughed. She was she was beyond hope yeah. with, with uh, her ability to to have to have a child and and Abraham as well and and yet the promise of God was that they would have that. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to stay tuned for the rest of the story. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> 
Lord, we thank you for this account because it does remind us of those who have no hope. Mm. Mm. Um, I really, every time I read this, I, I, I hear Sarah's sadness in her laughter mm. and, and, um, Lord, I think of the, the many in our world today who are, are struggling with addiction and, and um, all sorts of things that, that cause pain and take our hope. Lord, they, they need you. They need that hope that is in you. Mm. For you can, do, you can do anything. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the, the, it's fascinating that and, and we do have a tendency to say that's just a, a wonderful story you know that, that, that we read in the scripture that, that it's full of wonderful stories um, but they are not just stories um, that, that, that what we read are is it's it's a fulfillment of promise it is mm-hmm. god's god's mm-hmm. word and and um there's there's historical truth um and reality in in the stories that we read mm-hmm. and um uh, we can trust them yeah yeah so as i was as i'm thinking about people and and of course again we're pre-recording so between the time we're recording and the time this will actually air, there will be other prayer concerns that mm-hmm. will be added mm-hmm. to our list. But one of the things that I did a while back that was really quite powerful was to just read through the names. And of those on our list, and every person on this list needs the hope of God. Yeah. There, there, there's something they don't have, health, provision, whatever, um, and only God can give them. Right. So I would like to read through the, okay. the list. Um, and again, I, I apologize for those that will be added to this list mm. between mm. now and the, re, the, the release of this video. But um, And as, as you hear the names, just, just lift them up in prayer. Yeah, yeah. Lord, we pray for Shelly and Pastor Eric and Shelly and Tom and Carolyn and Rebecca and Christine and Marlene, for Rick and Martha, for Christian schools and their students, for teachers, for Sharon and Ken and Joseph and Barbie, for Patty and Sue and Kathy, Rex, Lorraine, and Don, for those who are having difficulties with their jobs, for Jean and Joe and Jenny and Brenda and Bill and Dick, Ken and Mary, Gordon, Rosie, and Todd, for the homeless and and the the churches and government facility or organizations that are working with the homeless. Dick and Marie and Sophia, Don, Ed, Jagger, Celine, Kathy and George, Rhonda, Mary Beth, Judy, Pete, Colleen. For those who are trying to eat well and bring down their A1C and lose weight and take care of other issues and struggling with that. For Anne, for Grandma who had a heart attack and a stroke. For Maria's son Andy, for Gracie and Jill, Tom, Kevin, Julie, Bob. For those who are dealing with cancer and don't want other people to know. For Mary, for those on probation and yet trying to build a new life. For sex offenders who are trying to build a new life. Dan, Briley, and River, and Kathy, for Jenny and Brendan, for those facing natural disasters, for Brenda, 
for those looking for a new church, for Jamie and Deb and her husband mm. and Josh, Rick, Ruth, Bobby, Gary, Donna, Bill, Kenzie, Ron, for chicken farmers and other farmers, for Daniel, Gavin, Heather, John, Kathy, for those in California dealing with floods and other natural disasters and mass shootings, hmm. for Hannah, for those adopting children, for Andy and Gary and Marcia and Randy, for our grandchildren in their 20s who are trying to find their way, for Theo, Al, Connie, Jim, Peter, Jesse, Heidi, Michelle, Linda, um, for unborn babies, babies that are that are due um, in the next couple of months. Todd, Michael, Linda, uh, for the New York State Nursing Home funding situation for Upper New York Conference. Dennis, Ruth, Ken, uh, Kenneth, Dave, for the two babies we were praying for in Buffalo, whose names I don't know. Mm -hmm. Carol, Karen, Norman, Helen, for those making adjustments to nursing homes or retirement homes, for those who are at the end of their life, for Judy and Helga and Grandma Sue, for Vince, for Aaron, for Sue, Tim, Logan, Ron, Katrina, Chuck and Kathy, Sue and Cindy, for sick children, mm. for grandmas and Greta, and Pastor Bill, for Heather and Connie and Melissa, and friends of ours whom we have not mentioned, for George, Kenzie and Dale and Kathy and Anthony and Devin and Dottie and Fran and Judy and Tammy and Anna and Alex and Dan and Marie and Annie, Colin, uh, Jennifer, Lori, Diane, Brenda, Dan, Aiden, Joy, Dave, Noah, Alex, for unspoken requests, for the for National Police Weeks and Mothers and Families and Corey and Adrian, Melissa, Karen, Becky, Kenzie, Shirley, Judy, and Steve. Mm. Quite a list. What I noticed as I was reading is there are some there are some duplicates only in that individuals have multiple needs right um sometimes mm -hmm. a name was mentioned twice and i thought oh yeah that's that's a duplicate name but it's it's a different need different need yeah mm -hmm. and we all have various needs um that we look to god for for provision and and care and um we're grateful just I'm grateful that, that God is aware of mm. all of the needs and, and manages manages that. Yeah. Mm. Lord, we thank you for your provision. We thank you for your grace. We pray your blessing, your healing, your your mercy and provision in each one of these situations. Each mm. name not only represents an individual, it represents a family. It represents in, in many cases, a, a church who is hurting over the situation. Yeah. Um, we thank you, Lord, that you are involved in each situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Well, we will, um, we will be recording, pre-recording, for this whole week, but we'll be back with you. <laughs> yeah. One week from from today. <laughs> okay. We'll be back live. Yeah. Have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow.